Well, welcome back to another exciting episode of Marky Mark's Backyard. So today, we're going to do a little bit of sanding. I got the fiberglass uh, finished on the bow where the eyes bolts goes through and I've applied a little bit of Bondo that way I can smooth everything nice and sand and I've already used a rasp to uh, knock down some of the high spots and do any shaping I might want to do and now that I have bolts to finish putting the axle on the trailer we'll do that we've got some uh, brackets here for the springs and the bolts for that so we'll proceed to uh, bolt the axle. Alrighty, all the brackets are on and there's only one more to tighten. So now we can slip the springs on and bolt that up. Actually, the uh, axle's still free. So I'm on a slight incline. So with a little bit of fussing and cussing, we have the spring slipped in and the bolts are ready to be tightened. other side there we go springs are now installed leaves the fenders which I forgot to drill holes for and these stabilizers so I think the next step will be drilling holes and cutting the stabilizers to fit so I just finished uh, cutting the uh, port side of the stabilizer used a whiz wheel to cut off what I don't want there's the whiz wheel and as you can see it kind of forms nicely around the side there. I'll have to drill a hole to secure it. And time to go around and do the other side. And I'm not going to bore you with the cutting. It takes a few minutes with the whiz wheel, but I'm going to do the same thing here. Alrighty, they're both cut now. And I've clamped them in place, so all we have to do is drill a hole for the bolt and I think I'm going to be shy some bolts again but uh, that's okay so as long as we're going to get out the drill and I should have thought of this while uh, it was already out it would have been easier to do on the drill press not necessarily for these stabilizers not knowing where the hole is going to be but for the fenders I didn't drill any holes so Let's see where they're going to go and mark them off. Uh, it looks like we got to make a cut there. So let me go get a pencil. Uh, see exactly where we want those puppies to be. So, let's see here. Okay. There's 
one side and I'll mark the other side. And start. All right, all the holes are drilled. I've got the bolts in. So there's nothing left to do except tighten them up. And let me see if I can set this here where you can see some of it. Anyway, I'm just going to use the air gun. So there we have it. That pretty much wraps up the trailer. I don't know if I'd mentioned it before, but I did put some new, uh, a roller on there, a new roller. The other one's okay, so I have a spare, which, who knows, I might add it. So I've got a couple side markers. If I uh, get the urge, I'll put those on. That's not necessary, but the trailer's pretty much done and I can go ahead and paint the bottom of the boat and stick it back on the trailer. So, until next time, don't forget to uh, hit that like button and leave a comment. Subscribe so you can see the rest of this being put together. And we'll see you later. Have an awesome day.